What's up guys, Gary with Self-Taught Dev. Today we are gonna to learn how to run an LLM like ChatGPT locally on your computer. Now we're not actually gonna use ChatGPT, that's a private model. We're gonna use open source counterparts, but open source models are rapidly approaching and some are even eclipsing the power of ChatGPT. So open source is not a bad thing at all. Now, this is what we what it's going to look like when we run it. You can do this via just command line, but I've spent most of my time as a front-end developer, and I like web UIs, so we're going to be using the text generation web UI. It looks a lot like Stable Diffusion or Automatic 11.11's web UI because the goal of this is to become that for text generation. So... Obviously running an LLM locally, you have a lot more control versus going to ChatGPT online. So we can adjust a lot of settings in here. Um, you can have it just print out the text. You could have it have avatars, a uh, lot of cool, neat little features that you're gonna get to play around with in here. But let's get going and get started on this. Now you are gonna need Python and Git. I'll have links to both of these and the repo we're gonna use in the description. If you don't have Python or Git installed, I'll also have a link to my Stable Diffusion installation video where I go over that. But from here on, I'm gonna assume you already have Python and Git installed. So let's get going with step one. We need to clone this repo to our machine. So we're gonna click on this green code button, copy this URL. We're gonna open up whatever text editor you use. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on here and make this full screen so we can see this more. And then we're going to CD2 documents, GitHub, um, what was it, AI stuff? Yeah, AI stuff, that's where I wanna put this. You don't have to navigate to the same place. Um, you, I'm just going to where I want this to be cloned to. So now that we are there, we're gonna say git clone, and then we're gonna paste the URL and then press enter. And this is just going to clone what's on GitHub down to our computer so that we can run this locally. Depending on your internet connection, that shouldn't take uh, too long of a time. What actually does take a little while is running this. Uh, by the way, you are gonna need about 15, maybe 20 gigabytes to run this. Um, and then like, obviously the better GPU you have, the better. Uh, but I think the shell is basically 10 gigabytes roughly and then the models are one two to three gigabytes each i'm i'm assuming um i haven't actually i need to double check that but yeah just heads up on that so we've got this downloaded if we go down to the installation instructions in this repo we need to run depending on our operating system the appropriate shell script i have windows so i'm going to run the start underscore windows dot bat if you're on mac or linux run the appropriate one, but I'm gonna go to my documents, AI stuff, text generation web UI, and then I'll bring this over here and then we can see the start Windows BAT. I'm just gonna double click on that and then that's going to run for us. I'm going to pause the video while this runs because this, can, this takes me like five, 10 minutes to run. So depending on your internet connection and how fast your computer is, times may vary, but I'm gonna let this install and then we shall continue. So you will, will eventually get to a part where it's asking you what is your GPU. Obviously you're gonna put in whatever your GPU is. Uh, I'm gonna do A because I have Nvidia and then it's going to ask a, if, I don't actually know what it does if you pick one of these other ones because I don't have any of those, but I have an RTX. So I'm gonna press no here or N and then it's going to install PyTorch and we will just let that run. And once it's done installing, you should see something similar to this. Yours might not look exactly the same because I had to close and open mine. Uh, but it should say at least running on local URL. And we are going to open this URL in the browser. So I'm going to press Control and left click on that because I'm on Windows. If it's on Mac, I think it's Command and left click on that. And that should get it open. And then the first time you open this, it should just say, how can I help you today? So we're going to just type here and say hello. And oh, no, we get an error. Uh, that's kind of expected because we don't actually have any models yet, so we need to get a model. How do we do that? Well, there's this model tab at the top here, so we're going to click on that, and we can see these are all of the model options. You don't really have to mess with any of these, uh, but we do need to paste in what model we want to download here. Let's go back to the uh, text generation web UI repo, and if we go down to downloading models, there is a link to Hugging Face here. 
and this is where we can choose what model we would like to use. We're just going to use the most downloaded one here, GPT-2. Now this is a predictive text model, so it's not like you say, hey, it says, hey, back. You say, how are you doing? It answers. This is more like a you enter part of a sentence and it completes the sentence for you. And I think I've used, okay, cool. I have not used all of my tokens today. So you basically enter part of a sentence and then it tries to continue that sentence for you. So we need to click here to copy openai-community slash gpt2. We're gonna go back to our web UI and then we're gonna paste that right in here. And then all we need to do is click download and that will go to the Hugging Face website and download this for us. All the files are in here. This is basically like GitHub just for, for models for AI. Uh, but we'll give that a second to download here. If we go look in our directory in the models folder, we see that we've got the OpenAI community um, file here. And then if we look in here, we can see it's downloading still. I think this is the last one it's got to get and then we should be good. So let's go back to our web UI and it says done, perfect. Now we need to load that model. So we're gonna click the none up here or actually we have to click the refresh button here. Then we're gonna click the drop down and select our model. So we've got our model, we need to load it. Click on the load button. You can auto load your model. Um, I don't know why that's not default, but you can click that and then that'll auto load the model every time. But when it's loaded, should say successfully loaded OpenAI Community GPT-2. It is an instruction following model with the template Alpaca. So that's important because in parameters here, or not parameters, um, default, instead of prompt QA, we want to use alpaca with input. And then we're just gonna clear this out and use the example text it has here. So my name is Thomas and my main, we'll put that and generate. And goal at the beginning of the session was to get better. I wanted to be on top, but if you're going to do anything wrong, then that wrong with that, then it's good for everybody else. Uh, okay, so cool. It kind of it started getting a little weird, but this is um, basically what the model trying to do is uh, it's predictive text model. So you enter the start of a sentence, and then it's going to try and generate some kind of paragraph for you. But I think that's going to be about it for this one. The main goal was just to show you guys how to get the web UI up and running and how to download models, which we have done. Um, there is a Reddit for this. Um, I will try to find that. There it is. Yeah, there's a subreddit and a Discord. If you want to jump in there and dig in and ask more questions, uh, I'm about to do that as well. But hopefully you got it up and running. If you ran into any issues, let me know in the comments below or go ask in their Reddit or Discord. Uh, if you're not Windows, I'm probably not going to be able to help you out a whole lot on it because I've, I've, that's what I've got. Um, but if you did learn something on this, give me a thumbs up so you can know I'm doing good stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the stuff I'm putting out. If you want another video going more in depth on these settings here, let me know in the comments below and I will endeavor to do that as well. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. One.